Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? I um, wanted to talk to you, everybody today about recruiting, you know, and there's a lot of uh, different ways that one can go about recruiting. You know, there's things, uh, online job boards and Craigslist and sending out mailers and, you know, a lot of different ways that you can invest your money in, hope to, in hopes to put yourself in front of some more candidates. And it's great. But I think over, over time and as things had um, progressed technology-wise, we sometimes forget the bare basics of recruiting. And that's working our warm market. People that are already in our lives and not only seeking out those folks, but seeking out the folks that those folks know and the people that they know and so on and so forth, etc. So I want to go over one, how you can make what we call a power list, but also to how to use it. Okay. So what we have to understand is that when we, when we put together this power list it is the purpose of it is to get the word out that we started a business. Okay. The minimum that you should be putting on this list is going to be about 50 people. Most people are going to be in, in the few hundreds, and I'd say the max maybe 500, you know, depending on, you know, how deep you actually go into this. They say there's a study by the New York Times and says that the average person knows 600 people. And I think I don't know 600 people. And I really think if you use some of the tools that we're going to discuss um, here today that you might really realize that you do know a lot of people. So as you build this particular power list, you're going to see that people fall under three different categories. Uh, people that you know, people that you don't know, and then people that your people know. Okay. The main deal here is that you want to empty the bucket. You want to list everybody. It doesn't make a difference if they're 90 years old. It doesn't make a difference if you think they're interested or not. What we have to do is detach ourselves emotionally from the outcome. It's not about getting a new customer, so don't take it personal. The initial goal is just simply to educate people on the new business that you started. What we also have to do is network on purpose. Have fun with it, you know? Look as it like you're putting together um, your, your starting lineup, right, for your all-star team, your top five, and you're building a business. You know, have some fun with it, you know? And again, don't be so caught up on if that person could be that person, you know? Maybe they know somebody. They say that every dud knows a stud, right? So to give you guys some ideas of where to start, think about who you know. And what you always want to start with is the people closest to you and then work outwards. Parents, in-laws, brothers, sisters, children, so on and so forth. Then we go through maybe our current um, address booklet, our Facebook friends, our Instagram friends, our TikTok friends. Okay, look through that drawer that you have of business cards. Who are you sending holiday cards to? Who's in your cell phone? Okay, all that stuff, we got to put the list out and then also to state how we know that person. And, and, and a good example, I know John Smith and I know John Smith, you know, I know of him maybe from my brother. And we just keep, you know... Who do I regularly associate myself with? Who does my taxes? Who changes my oil? Who washes my car? You know, who's my tailor? Who do I see at the drive the drive-in? You know, or the drive-through? I guess I should say there's no more drive-ins, right? Drive-through. You know, who do you play sports with? Who's in your fantasy football league? You know, who's part of certain clubs? Who who, who do you go to church with? Who do you sit next to at church? You know, all that stuff. Who's your babysitter? Who's your bartender? You know. Who's your dentist, your doctor, your grocer, your hairstylist, your travel agent, your lawyer? 
Who's your photographer? Who's your mailman? Who's your garbage man? <clears throat> All this stuff, guys. I'm saying empty the bucket and make this list enormous. Enormous. Like, don't, don't write a name that, uh, I don't know. Like, write the name down and the relationship. And empty the bucket. And I think that you'd be surprised of how many people that you would actually have on that list. So take a few minutes as you're watching this and, and make that list. And I think you'd have several hundred people, even the average person. Excuse me. Now, again, like I said earlier, <clears throat> there's a certain mindset that a recruiter must have. And what we first must do is detach yourself emotionally from the outcome. Again, the initial goal is just to educate these folks on what your business is and let them know that you started a new business. It's not about getting a new customer yet, so don't take it personal. But most importantly, be yourself. You know, if you call yourself dude, or you, you, I mean, if, if you call people up, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, dude, if that's how you talk, that's how you talk. Be that way, be yourself. Because the last thing that you wanna do is call on somebody and give them your professional voice. And they're like, well, what is this? Doug doesn't talk to me this way. Why, 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 is something wrong? You know? So be yourself, guys. Call them up. You, you know, reactivate that relationship. I promise you that you'll find yourself having a hard time not talking about work. They're gonna ask you, hey man, what do you, how you been? Hey, what are you doing? You know? So again, just call them up and say, hey. So, you know, but also too, don't be, a, uh, don't be scared to be a little bit bold. Like be yourself, but be a bolder version of yourself. For instance, instead of saying, I'm hoping that this will work for me. Like, I, hey, I found, dude, Doug, I started this new opportunity and I'm really hoping it works for me. Instead of saying that, say I finally found something that I believe in and that can give me and my wife the chance to live the life that we've always wanted to. I've never been this serious before about taking control of my life. You know, that's how you be more bold, more assertive, okay? Confidence is everything. And also enthusiasm creates curiosity, okay? Which causes people to ask questions. And when people ask questions, you can answer them. Okay, very, very simple. So when we're calling, so, so that's really kind of just the idea and the mindset of the whole thing. Okay, is to make a list of people, get yourself in the right mindset. Okay, remove any emotions. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. What we want to do is to go ahead and empty the bucket and get ourselves in the right mindset. Okay, so this first little segment here is nothing more than making that power list. Hundreds and hundreds of people long. In different segments, I'm gonna go over and share with all of you what to say and how to say it so that way you can set yourself up and be able to do that presentation that really gets down into the nitty gritty of, of what your business does and most importantly, what it can do for them and their families and maybe some of the others that they might be introducing you to, okay? So again, start with your closest, the closest people to you, your immediate family and build out from there. Remember that people are gonna fall into three different categories. Who you know, who you don't know, and who the people that you know know. Right, I know it sounds a little bit crazy, a little bit weird, but those are the three different categories. Start with your inner circle, build out from there, and check out our next segment as to what to say, and how to invite them, and how to follow up, and all the other stuff that will lead to you hopefully getting a new player on your starting lineup. I hope this helps. Take care.